Hi guys, um, I am opening the second package. I doubt anyone will watch both videos, much less in order, but this is the mystery doll. Now, I know who she is, um, so, skinny package, um, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this doll, um, some people do know about the Life of Faith dolls, which, um, were a line of Christian 18 and 3 quarter inch dolls, um, that were just those dolls, I have to go into at some point, but they were the dolls that started me off as a actual collector, not um, just a kid. I mean, they were $100, and I bought all of them with coupons. We had coupons, but um, I saved up and worked for my own money when I was 9 and 10. Like, those dolls really turned me into a collector. Their books are kind of messed up. Um, some very disturbing and very extremist themes. Um, they were originally written in most of them in the 1860s, not 1860s, 18, the mid 19th century. Um, so mid 1800s by this woman named Martha Finley. Um, anyway, those dolls are incredible. This is not one of those dolls. They were so popular, they're historical dolls, um, that they made a line of 14-inch dolls um, called Faith and Friends. And this is one of those dolls. I actually have, oh wow, I have the entire line of all five Life of Faith and all five Faith and, seven Faith and Friends. But my, the seven Faith and Friends have color names. So I have True Blue here, and my True Blue um, is wearing a homemade dress, not that I didn't have her dress, but because um, my grandma made us matching dresses for my 11th birthday. So I bought this stall to take her dress, and I may actually end up customizing her. You can see they've got really cute faces. My mom says this one looks like Kira Sedgwick. Mine is named Emily, um, which was my favorite name for so many years growing up, and I still like it. Um, but I was just so incredibly obsessed with that name. So you can see that their arms are weirdly long, um, but they're intended to be able to pray and praise. Um, their bodies are, so she has her undergarments on, their bodies are 100% vinyl, um, they're really nice dolls, they really genuinely are. Except I don't like the arms, not because of what they're doing, but because they're disproportionately long. Um, but yes, I have all seven of these. I'm going to have to do a video on them at some point um, when I decided to grow up and get rid of my dolls. Um, my Life of Faith and Faith and Friends dolls, I just packed away. I was like, I'm not getting rid of these and they were in my attic for from ages 13 to 16 and then I pulled them down and the attic was really hot they were kind of messed up but I was able to um, save them from a worse fate by taking them down I mean they're not in awful shape they'll have their original clothing it's, it's still pretty decent um, and then I started buying dolls again at 17 so, I see I've been collecting since I was nine. Like most doll collectors, I did take a hiatus. Um, we all have that hiatus in our, during our teenage years. Not all of us, but a lot of people do. And it was something where I missed my dolls, but it was also something where I was kind of scared of them. Which sounds crazy. Um, I'll have to get into that at some point, but anyway, she's supposed to come with pink socks and blue shoes and a headband, but this is just, this one does not go up for sale very often, or she goes up for sale new in box. Let me tell you, these dolls were originally $30, and new in box, she goes about 40 or 50 and I'm like, I have one, but I just need the dress, so I would always look for the dress. So basically, I took the dress off over a decade ago, probably, yeah, 12 years ago, and never could find it. I'll have to get my 
other one I should have thought to bring her out but I want to do a review and video on those dolls at some point because as much as there are issues with the source material and the arms are kind of weird the big ones have arms like this too but they're more proportionate um, those dolls really 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 changed my life if it hadn't been for those dolls I feel like I would have still found other dolls but um, those really are what I can owe my doll collecting to. Specifically, um, Elsie was the one that I was reading the original copies of the books, not the ones that they rewrote a bit to modernize. Not like put them in our time period, but just make them not as extreme. Um, and I had to buy her. I just did. And... My parents couldn't afford her, so I worked and worked, and I first saw her in October of 20, not 20, 2006, and um, we got a calendar for the store. I don't know if any of you remember Bereans. It was a Christian store, um, and there was a 50% off coupon one in... February, April, and November. It was like a coupon per month, and there were 75% off in September and June. So, not 75, 25% off. So, um, I, my mom was like, the coupons probably won't work since they're pricier, but you can try, but you should still save enough. So, between October and February, my mom didn't take me until February 3rd. Those were the longest parts of it. I, my allowance was $1 a week. Um, but I worked chore after chore. I um, actually would go around collecting cans and bottles to cash in. I mean, this was during the Great Recession, and while my family wasn't necessarily hurting for anything particular, we didn't have really anything for extras. Um, I mean, and for Christmas, I was like, just give me the doll, that's all I want. My parents were like, you're going to be upset if you only get one present. Um, but I was able to save up enough. I had $112 by February 3rd, and I walked in, and they were like, oh, your 50% off coupon works. So I was like, okay, so that means in April I can get Kathleen. And so in April I did get Kathleen, um, and I saved up enough to use a 25% off coupon in June for Millie. In August, I did 25% off to get Violet, and in November, I completed the collection with Laylee. Um, and I was super excited for each and every doll. I have all of them. I I think Violet and Laylee are my favorites, despite being the two I got last. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to show you guys those dolls. But, that is another video. Anyway, that is the story of how I became a doll collector, and I got these throughout as gifts because people are like, oh, a $30 doll is different than a $100 doll. I'm like, I'll take the $100 if you don't buy me anything else. <laughs> but ultimately, I think it was really good that I bought them all with my own money because it really taught me not only the value of a dollar, but um, <clears throat> just like being able to learn to work for what I wanted and being able to succeed. Um, I was also reading Kit, uh, the Kit books from American Girl. At this time, if you're not familiar, is the Great Depression doll. She was my favorite American Girl character. And those books helped me a lot because of the period I grew up in. And, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this doll that totally turned into something else. She is a pretty doll. I'm probably, honestly, with her hair in the condition it is, I'm probably going to customize her. Um, that sounds crazy, but I'm just like, I have one of these already, and um, I'll let you guys know. I actually did, I placed a bid about a week ago on a Millie doll from Life of Faith. Um... And I didn't, I totally forgot. And yesterday, no, two days ago, I got the notification that I had won the auction. And I was like, what auction? 
So I actually have a Life of Faith doll coming who I decided to buy to customize, but I'm just like, her hair is just, she has bangs and they're like supposed to be like, like down to her eyebrows, but they're like up to here, somebody cut them really unevenly, and her hair looks cut, it's supposed to be down to her, past her knees, but it's like, I'm not sure where it is, but I noticed, I'm like, that's not long enough, and it's clearly fried, so, but she comes in her full presentation outfit, they're not meat outfits, they're presentation outfits, with her accessories, which I do not have, so I was like, that's worth it, just for the clothing, um, but I do have the main presentation outfit, but those outfits fetch a good price, so I can kind of win back what I paid for the doll, just by selling the outfit, minus the accessories. Um, for a fair going market rate. Alright guys, well, that is the end of this video. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have, um, ever had one of the Mission City Press slash Breezy Point Treasures slash Life of Faith and Faith and Friends dolls. Um, what did you think of her? Do you, um, do you have one now? So, yeah. Alright. Thanks, guys. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.